I'm in the village of Walesby and I'm just parked up at the moment. And I thought, do you know what? After work, it'd be a shame to not come out and ride today. So uh, I'm going to do some a little bit of hill climbs and try and get some feet up. Now, clearly, I, uh, I need myself a jersey to actually do this. So uh, I thought, what better way to uh, test these jerseys out to actually do some traditional Lincolnshire hills? So on the Coles website, I ordered the Cole Ford Ride London Sport jersey. It's a medium sized blue multicolour, and I paid £50 with it. Uh, also, for some peculiar reason, I got some cycling socks at £17. <laughs> what was I thinking? My order from Rafa, I ordered a men's core jersey at £46 and some lightweight socks, regular size, at £13. So slightly, in fact, yeah, a little bit cheaper. Total for that was £64. And as a complete contrast to all of that, I ordered a Decathlon men's road cycling short sleeve summer jersey, essential, black, and that cost me a whopping £9.99. I ordered from AliExpress as well, and it'll be a knockoff, <laughs> which I'll show you on screen now. Now, unfortunately, being AliExpress, this thing's still stuck in customs, I think in Heathrow at the moment, so uh, I'm not guaranteeing that arriving before the end of the month. The Decathlon arrived first, that was the first one that I ordered it, and it was pretty much the next day it turned up. The next one to arrive was the Rafa, and that was a couple of days later from when ordering. The Lecoult one, believe it or not, the most expensive of the lot, turned up uh, a couple of days after the Rafa one, so about four days since ordering. So this is the uh, Lecoult, just ripped off the strip off the back. And this is what you get inside the Lacole delivery. So the most expensive one looks fairly nice. Nice little package, nice and safe and sound in there. So there we go, got the Lacole stickers. Oh, these fit me. And this, I've got my rather expensive socks. And the jersey. The Lacole zipper is always good because it sort of clips down. So it doesn't flap around, which is useful for people like me using microphones on the collar. So this is what the Coal shirt looks like, uh, made in Romania of all places, 100% polyester. Uh, do you know what? I'm not that impressed really of the quality on this so far. It looks pretty, uh, it looks pretty cheap to be fair, and it just looks like this has been stitched on to an existing shirt, which has just been printed. It does include the. Uh, the nice little grips inside, which is nice. No, not much one to this. This is just a bag. This one's quite nicely packed up. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the labels. And there are lots of them. So this one is made in Bangladesh. I don't know what it is about Decathlon, but they do tend to go a bit over the top on these, uh, on these silly labels. So, literally black. It's not even a full grain, it's just literally a a t-shirt with a little slit at the top. Quality wise, yeah, well, it uh, looks like a quite a loose fitting to me. There's no, uh, yep, yeah, there's no sort of stitchy thing on the bottom there, no grips. Okay, so last up on this list is the raffle one. Nice little bag. Again, lightweight socks. And there's the jersey. Core jersey is a uh, made in Vietnam. So uh, we've got a bit of a mix of places where all these have come from. Not bad quality on the collar. It's not just single lined, it's double round there. On the arms, we've got the stripe, of course. There's no, uh, like the Lacole, the grip. There's none of that on, the, uh, on there. However, there is a grip at the bottom. Yeah, that's quite nice. Not too sure about the color, but uh, it certainly feels like it fits, especially in the arms. Uh, let's have a look. So, it hasn't got the uh, the grippy stuff, but it's a tight fit though, as it should be on there. So, value for money, Van Rijs will definitely get a tenner. Is uh, if you're looking at starting to ride and you just want a jersey just to put on, you'll be absolutely fine. I think that Van Rijs one is fine. I don't like that you've got to take it off and it's over the top of the head to actually get it off as well. That one will probably get old real quick. And uh, the little cool one. Yeah, quality of the actual jersey itself doesn't look that much, but I do like the zip. I like the grippy bits on the uh, on the bottom, so uh, it doesn't ride up at all. Feels nice and snug, so that's quite nice. Just a damn shame about the price, to be fair. I'll leave the socks for now. I haven't got my SPD SLs or SPDs on at the moment. I'm just in trainers. 
<laughs> right, anyway, let's, uh, yeah, let's get riding and do some hills and see what this feels like. Make a rare change to actually go up this hill. I've normally come down it. Right, won't be far until I'm puffing and panting. Not really sure why I picked this colour. Doesn't suit me, I don't think. Is it purple or is it pink? <laughs> it looks pink to me in the camera. The steep bit coming up here. Radinora. <sighs> oh, bloody hell. I'm not going to beat any records today. So Wellsby Hill, a little bit of a steep bit, evens out a bit, and then it ramps back up again in the middle. I think there's a little bit at the end as well. Believe it or not, this is Route 1 National Cycle Network. <laughs> they do pick some lovely little hills, don't they? You see, it's a bit of a false economy, this bit. You think that top bit there is the end of it, but it's not. Well, sweating now. Heat-wise, it's doing a good job. These cars make it look easy, don't they? Oh my goodness. You think you're almost there. Almost there. Oh, oh yeah. This is what I was talking about, the dip. <laughs> Ooh. Almost to the top now. Well, there we go, I'm at the top. Catch my breath, All right. Overall impressions. It's kept me. Yeah, it keeps the sweat off. I don't feel like I've got a uh, inferno under my armpits. The neck isn't rubbing, which is always a bonus. The waistline, however big it may be, hasn't ridden up. It's gripped on lovely. Overall though, yeah, I feel pretty good in this. I feel pretty good at all. I didn't have to, uh... actually, that's a good point. I didn't have to unlatch. Normally when you get into a bit of a uh, huff and puff, you drop the jersey down. Well, I normally do anyway. Right, let's, uh, let's get back down. I yeah, quite like this raffle one. Crap colour though. Right, change of clothes and back up at it. Right, take two. Now with the, the cold jersey. Already, compared to the, uh, the raffle one, it just feels less material overall. It's a bit flimsy around the neck. Should be fine. Should be cool, actually. Although not this time. Now, I'm gonna guess I'm gonna be slow on this one. Right, here comes the steep bit. That's as low as you can go, mate. <laughs> oh, already I can feel myself heating up. The collar's starting to annoy me now. I want to actually unzip it. I'm going to hold out a little bit. Sweaty arms now. Oh! <laughs> oh! There we go, look. There it is. <laughs> Still uncomfortable in the collar, around the neckline. I'll be glad to come back down this hill. Almost there, finish line, just past that road sign. And there we go. 
<sighs> lap two done. I like the zip, zip zip, the handle of the zip, I like that. The zip itself, I don't like, it feels cheap, especially up there, that goes all up there. So that's the problem, just there. Try and get Adam's apple, not good at all. Now I'll give it some credit because uh, this is my second go, so I am pretty hot and steamy already, so uh, yeah, I feel like I've been climbing, let's put it that way. Not knackered though. Right, let's get back down and do one last one with the decathlon. Right, we've got a change of jersey. Lap number three up the hill. Let's go. Already, I'm sweating on my arms. Third time's the charm, eh? It's gonna be first lap, quickest. Second one, slower. Third one, slowest. <laughs> I don't know why I put the glasses on. I ain't worn them once. <sighs> Through the puddles. <sighs> because of the build up of heat, sweat on my body for the last two goes, it's sort of accumulating. It's not uncomfortable, but you know it's going to be uncomfortable after a long ride. Almost to the first deceiving bit. There we go. There we are, look. That little bell there. And I'm done. Best not think about it. Get to the end, it'll get there. Just gotta go past the road sign and I'm done. And that was that. Finished three times. So, catch my breath. So overall though, what do I reckon of the uh, 10 quid jersey from Van Riesel and Decathlon? I don't like the zip, that's for sure. Difficult to pull it down with one finger. If you're looking to get into cycling and you don't want to spend a lot of money, definitely go for this. I think that is, uh, it's a savvy move and it will get you into uh, yeah it'll get you into more expensive things very soon i think 10 quid though you really can't fault it it's not the best but it's fine i think uh, yeah I'll, I'll be quite happy in this uh, i'm not too sure the the back itself mm, no grippy at the bottom so it will rub and ride up on the back it does feel extremely sweaty so for the price of this van Riesel, obviously for one raffer you can get five of these so you know you can ride uh, all weekdays if you wanted to commuting wise i really don't know what to say about the cold one i quite like it but i don't like it at the same time uh, personally i think the raffer fit is much much better the color definitely is better um, i don't like the zip on the raffer i do like the zip the actual zip zip on the cold but i don't like the zip going down if that makes sense just feels cheap nasty it looks like it could probably break the Rafa jersey does feel a little bit more better made, that's for sure. Crap colour, but that's by the by. Looking at the stats, I mean, I've still got to go down. That's, uh, that's nearly 10k. So, what's that, six miles? So, three miles climbing, three miles downhill. That's not too bad, actually. Ah, that's not too bad at all. So, the jerseys itself, definitely, I think, if you're getting into cycling or you don't want to spend ridiculous amounts of money on jerseys and cycling kit, definitely go for the Van Riesel. 10 quid it's not brilliant but it's absolutely fine yeah aliexpress well when it finally clears customs i'll uh, <laughs> i'll give it a bash it's going to be cheap aliexpress china knockoff rubbish anyway it's a fake copy it'll be a cheap print very similar to the lacole actually it'll be like a yeah it just won't be very well made basically so overall um yeah 
<laughs> Rafa. I can't believe I'm saying that. Rafa's my favourite. I think if I'm going to vote my wallet, definitely the Decathlon. I think that's really good value for money. Anyway, I don't know. A couple more rides and I'll, uh, I'll probably have a bit, of, a bit more of a better verdict on it. Well, there we go. Thank you very much for viewing today. I hope you've uh, enjoyed it. And uh, any comments, please do drop them down underneath. If you like what you see, as always, do uh, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.